It's a time to get into the zone, but this time with the zone mini. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the zone mini. In my previous video, we talked about the zone, more like this Wii knockoff thing, but now we're going to get the portable edition, comes including an it's very nice protection carrying with you bag so what i find very interesting so this thing has very i think it's after it's very limited simply because we're only having one controller we're going to get this tiny device can you just see yourself bringing this thing with you on vacation and so we can play some zone power but let's do a quick unboxing and just see what's inside because i wanted to play them because we're in like 35 games inside Ooh. Oh, if I hate something, then it's our blast, blister for pa packaging. I was in the blister, bl blister, blister, blaster, whatever. Like the plastic, fantastic packaging. Okay, so I found a way to open it up. Still keeping it in good condition. But yeah, it's open. So, all right. So here we're going to get the system itself. We're going to leave the cardboard inside. Um, let's see. Give me the bag. And let's see what we're going to get with the bag itself. Ah, we're going to get the toilet paper manual like always. Uh, so this is all in German? No, because it says here like German language, like manual in German. Oh, Ben. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so let's take a close look at it. Uh, yeah, put the batteries in. So basic stuff. Why do I need to bother? Over here we're going to get the, oh man I hate it, like the tiny barrel jack connection. I do have a couple of them laying around, but if you're going to get lost, they are like very hard to find. The remote itself, and this is the game system. Like here we're going to get the IR, I think it's an IR connection. With the IR connection we can like get the movement, registration. Oh boy, what a weird situation we're going to get. So over here we're going to get the battery compartment, and I can see like we're going to need four triple A freaking batteries. Oh boy, whatever. Oh man, I really hate these weird things sometimes. Uh, the D-pad. Ooh, that feels quite a sturdy, like too sturdy. St I hate it. Like, we're going to get sel start select. No, I was having select start. No, we're like going to turn it around. Reset button. A, B, and I'm guessing like these are turbo buttons. So that's it, folks. Needing three AAA batteries. So let's do so. Let's grab myself a pile of these freaking batteries and let's it go. Okay, so the thing that we're going to need is a screwdriver. Oh boy, I really hate those screws that we need to remove. Otherwise, we can't get in the freaking battery compartment. Oh boy. And they don't want to open up. Let's get myself a pile of freaking batteries. There is no information whatsoever how long we can play with this device. So I'm guessing a couple of hours. Okay, let's put the screw back in. And here we're going to get the reset and the power button. And over here we're going to get the power LED. Okay, so this device is ready. Let's get myself some more batteries over here. Go away. And let's open this one up too. And let's add those freaking batteries in it. The battery freaking nightmare, I can say. Alright, I already get some new batteries. Otherwise it's always messing around with the batteries which one were full. Okay, so let's put this thing back together. So the remote is ready or the controller remote controller fusion thing and let's have some fun okay guys so let's connect it to the television all right so let's plug it in only mono sound yep it's going to be really old school well, let's search the connection here at the side and also we can use a power supply that was not included in this stupid thing of course Alright, so let's just put this thing over there. Ooh. No, 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 wait. I need to put the sensor in the right position, otherwise I can't use it. Alright, so we're going to get Super Fighter curling or something. Okay, so we need to hold it like this. Oh, ping pong, bowling, the same crap. But the question remains, how can we get to the other page? Oh, it goes automatically to the next page. Alright. Racing, motorcycle cute, Sudoku, smart portal like a puzzle game, dancing, snakes, catch duty too, some weird stuff I can tell you, pop a balloon, so let's start it up, what a weird music, the music of the menu keeps going on, 
Oh, seriously, so there is no new background song. It's just keep repeating the same song all over again. And what does the lightning go? So that's it, like shooting the balloons. Does the reset button work? Oh, the reset button seems to be working. Okay, I wanted to see the fighting game just to see what this is all about, so... Uh, let's see if I can... Why does my controller doesn't work anymore? I have no idea. Okay, seems to be working. Oh, I just went back to the main menu. Why is that? Like, the controls are messed up. Press start. Oh, yep. Officially, they ripped off King of Fighters. I hear, like, the sound. Oh, and the same goes for there, too. What the hell is going on with this? Hey. Yep. Yep. For the people who are not familiar with King of Fighters. Yeah, they ripped off the characters, only given a different look. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's really bad. So, let's see. Well, that's it. I do like the funky music. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Come on. They did rip off a lot of sound effects. Now we can do some super moves. On this horrible, horrible deep air. Oh yeah, people, I'm getting into the zone now. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, oh boy, oh boy, this is really bad. Fun fact. This Catch-22, I have seen it before, only with a different name. I can still recall it was the Tang game? Oh, absolutely, it's the Tang game, only slightly different. And they also use, like, the title, screen music. But I also know that, like, it got a couple of seconds delay when you want to steer the tank. Yup, got the same power-ups. How a freaking original. Oh, I'm getting the shield now. In a normal game, we're going to get a lot more like a beefcake tank, but we're not going to get that. Next up, racing. So this system is filled with, like, say, homebrew game. Oh, no, they didn't. Like, they originally ripped the music from Zippy, from the NES. Oh, yeah, this looks like more like a 16-bit, maybe 32-bit style game. The sound effects are like from the 8-bit systems. Uh, freaking awful. Pro tennis, baby! So let's boot it up and let's see if we can actually play with this motion sensor bullshit thing. Well, most of the games we play now is like more of the same stuff we're fixing. Seriously, like to choose, need to choose everything, chord, blah 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 Let's go, I want to play. Okay, I did notice something. Can I do the same movement all over again? Oh. 15 love. Oh, it does speak. If I move, move like that. So let's put the ball that direction. So it seems to be... No, no, it doesn't even matter. You know, like, if I'm going to keep waving like that. See, that's the only thing. That is just bullocks. Okay guys, so let's do a quick teardown. I already love to see what's inside of these machines. But I don't get it man, it's like why are they making these crap systems? I know that Wii was super popular back in the day. And here on the channel I've reviewed a lot of these weird knockoff clone systems. But some of these things make no sense whatsoever. Like they are filling it up with, uh, let's see on the box, what was it? 35 games. And when you think about it, like most of them are like homebrew weird lookalike games. They ripped it off from King of Fighters, Zippy Race, Tank, you name it. It's like a freaking nightmare, if you ask me. Oh boy, we need a PAL batteries to get some juice in this. And yeah, you can use it with an external power supply over here. 
why is my port not really aligned anymore no idea so can we just open it up like that or is it not that easy yeah we can open it up okay so let's get the batteries aside because i want to show you what is inside okay okay so we can remove this plastic i think i need to remove this plastic too ah there it is it's a hidden one oh it's a naughty one come out boy because i want to open it up okay so two plastic shells that would be very gentle so there's like the upper shell with the piece of plastic blue like the other ones and here is where all the freaking magic happens so i find it quite interesting to see how compact this device is there is not a lot to show simply because again black blobs so that covers up the chip so we don't know what kind of chip they are using here I'm going to get the PCB for the two switches, the power on and off and the reset. I'm going to get a separate tiny PCB over here for the input for the power supply that is not with this device. Then we're going to get the AV out. Alright, so the cable goes in here straight for the signal. Also we're going to get over here for the battery compartment. But that's it folks, here is like the soldering of the ER function, Alidia. So there's nothing much inside, but if you think about it, like this device almost looks like a freaking memory card for the PlayStation. Oh boy, this thing is really tiny. It's quite interesting to see how small they can make them. And is there a production date? Oh, I see something over here, but it doesn't make any sense. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to get in the inside. So, final conclusion time. Okay guys, so what do I think of the Zone Mini? I can say that I didn't get into the Zone with this piece of crap. So I really like to review like weird clone devices, but the fun fact like when I'm reviewing a lot of these Wii clones, whatever they call them, like Zone Minis, I noticed like the, some of the Unreal games are very, let's say, common. And that's something I noticed. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become an Awakened family, and I will see you in the next video. Zone time!